Good morning, you above average, good looking person right there. It's you, above average. Hi ho, hi ho, off to work I go. Because I owe, I owe. We're going to Arburg today. Uh, got an appointment there this morning. Got to hook up to a roll tight. And uh, see what fun awaits north of Winnipeg. It's two hours north from our yard. No diesel weasel with us today. You're stuck with just me. I I apologize. I'm sorry. Gotta look at my face all day. It's gonna be a good day though. I don't think it's gonna be quite as long of a day as yesterday, but if it turns out to be, I'm fine with that. I do what I'm needed, I go where I'm needed. When I'm needed. Within reason. And within the law. Gotta add that in there too. The government likes to tell me how much I can work. They don't like it when I work too much. Uh, we're on our way up to Arburg, which is two hours north. It's about an hour and a half north of Winnipeg. We have some freight up there that's going to a town in Georgia. It has a, a different kind of name. I forget what it is. I think it's like Alpharetta or something. Alpharetta, Georgia. I'll have to look it up for you when we stop and let you know. But it's going to Georgia. Looks like we're going to have to stop and clean the windshield somewhere too. <laughs> I wonder where all my geese friends went. Those crazy cobra chickens. They're gone. The ducks are gone too. They're all gone. I bet you they went to Mexico for winter already.
right, we're all set up here. We were here a little early yesterday and they were ready for us. Uh, they're almost ready for us today. So I'll have to wait a little bit, but that's okay. I don't mind. We're here pretty early again today. I only have to roll this back up if I have to roll this forward. We'll see what they have for us today. So while I wait for them to uh, load me up, and since I don't have diesel with me today, I can put the weasel bed to use myself. That's nice. There's my trailer. Only took up half of the lower deck, so they're adding some more freight on it before it heads to Maryland. So we're headed into the city with a box behind us now. We have a dry van. I have two dry van loads I'm gonna have to pick up in Winnipeg today, this afternoon. And that'll fill up the rest of the day. See if we can get into traffic and maybe I should turn my signal on then people know I want to go that way. Look out trucker Josh is coming onto the highway. Everybody put your seat belts on so you don't fall out. US. I think you have a Labor Day too, don't you? Our Labor Day this year is on September 6th. A long weekend ahead. I'm looking forward to it. Britt and I will be celebrating our anniversary, our fourth anniversary, a little early. Our actual anniversary is on September 17th, okay? Don't let me forget. It'd be pretty hard to forget though, because it's not on September 17th. It's on September 16th. Ha! I was testing you. It's the day after my mom's birthday. My mom's birthday is on the 15th. I think my grandpa's birthday was on the 14th. My mom's birthday was on the 15th. I think that's how that went. And then our wedding anniversary is on the 16th. And we got married in 2017. Britt and I both have this habit of saying September 17th, 2016, but it was actually September 16th, 2017. So she can't even give me heck about that because she does the same thing. September 16th, that's going to be a Thursday. All right. Four years we've been married. One more year, it'll be five. That's the first really big one. They say, according to statistics, that uh, if your marriage lasts five years, you are over a big hump. Because, what they say, the divorce rate under five years is much higher, and after five years, the divorce rate plummets down to a much lower percentage. I'd have to check what the actual percentage is, but I know it's a lot lower for marriages that last over five years. That's what I heard. I don't know. I don't know these things for sure. That's what I've heard. And I don't know yet what we're gonna do for our fifth anniversary, but I wanna do something big. I wanna go somewhere. I'm hoping the borders of the world are gonna be open by then in uh, 2022, in September, so that we can uh, take a trip somewhere, you know? In Mexico, Italy, Greece, Fiji, or maybe we'll just go to Grand Beach, I don't know. Nice little car who cut in front of me here. Pretty brave. Luckily, I could stop. <laughs> His license plate says Botox. Gotta go up. 
up over the bridge and up Watt Street again. And they still haven't finished this construction. How long has this been going on now already? I'm pretty sure this has been for at least a year already. That's why I was pointing out in Steinbeck that usually we can get our construction projects done before winter. That's what we like to do. But if you come to Winnipeg, it's a whole different story. You know, it takes 10 guys to dig one hole. You need nine guys to watch and one guy to dig the hole. And then you, they, they, they seem to take like forever to get a project done. And I'm not saying they're simple projects. I'm not complaining either. They do a good job. Like they're doing a good job here. It's just in, in, in Winnipeg, in the city, it seems that they take a lot longer to get projects done. And Steinbeck, yeah, we'll have some construction. It's kind of annoying during the summer. But come winter, it's finished, it's done. Next year, we'll have a nice new road to use. You know? As long as winter doesn't destroy it. <laughs> At least we won't have all these cones all over the place in, in winter during the, in the snow, right? Okay, so I gotta go this way. Wonder if Mr. Supercar here is gonna go the same way as me? Should I scare him a little bit and act like my truck's gonna eat him? Oh, he's gone. Nah, he's scared of me. Okay. I was, <laughs> I was thinking of going up really close behind him, making him nervous, make his car disappear in front of my hood, but... We won't do that. That wouldn't be nice. I'm sure he's got somewhere very important that he's got to go to right now. Very important, like his Botox surgery or something. I bet you he's a doctor or whatever you call him, the people who do that. And that's probably how he made all his money. And he's probably flaunting it. He's like, look at me. Look at all the money I've made doing Botox. Very nice, very nice. I guess if you're gonna try to convince people that you're gonna make them look better, you better drive a pretty good looking car, right? I'll get you looking as good as my car. Maybe that's his slogan. All right, guys, come on, come on. Green means go, green means go. I can't get my trailer around this curb here. I gotta go in there. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Excuse me, trucker Josh coming through, excuse me. Pardon me. Watch out. Thank you. Thank you. Down Watt Street we go. An older part of Winnipeg. This part was very different. When my parents were young and, you know, newly married, they got married in 1975. They were living in this area here for a little while in Elmdale. I believe, or East Kildonan area. That's the east side of the river in Winnipeg. Now it's a bit of an older neighborhood, but then it was a lot newer. It wasn't brand new, but yeah, it was a lot newer. This was their home area. It's changed a bit since then. But uh, yeah, it's, it's the way things are, you know? Things get old and if you don't maintain them and keep them nice, well, they're not gonna stay nice on their own. But that's not to say this isn't a nice neighborhood. Don't take that the wrong way. There's a, people here take care of their houses very well. It's just, it's further into the city now so that there's more traffic, it's more crowded. That's what I mean. I mean, there's no real way to maintain that. It's just, cities grow. And what is that? Is that a house or is that a business? What is that? It's just a big cube with windows. Could be a house, you never know. fun to haul that too all right so we have a loaded box behind us now it's got stuff in it this stuff is going somewhere it definitely I have no idea where <laughs> I didn't ask. it's on the paperwork right here I could find out if I wasn't driving but hey they said go pick this up I picked it up I don't know where it's going probably somewhere very important probably going somewhere that needs it very much they probably needed it so much dude is your lane not big enough why are you coming into my lane did you see that i got a big long trailer behind me and my lane's big enough that was rude 
Don't do it, buddy. Don't do it. He's gonna come past me. He's gonna try to pass me. I'm gonna give her all I got. Ha ha! They're always so impatient. Nobody likes being behind a semi. Patience. You're most likely gonna make a dangerous move and try to get past me. I would recommend against. Don't do it, buddy. Don't do it. He's doing it anyway. Why? What are you doing? Why? And then he slams on his brakes in front of me and goes the exact same speed as me. So really, it didn't get you anywhere. coming back here till next Tuesday. Well, oh, I got my truck shades with me. Oh no, 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 no. Please stay in the truck. You never remove the semi shades from the semi or the pickup shades from the pickup. That just confuses everybody. There we go. Now when we come back here on Tuesday, I won't be like, where's my shades? forget about that pothole there. Hit it every day. All right, what are our plans for this weekend? I don't know. I don't know. I know that Britt and I, like I was saying, we're, we're planning on celebrating our anniversary in some some fashion. We don't know what we're doing yet, but it's going to be special. She's got to work today uh, late, and then she's got tomorrow off, and I've got tomorrow off, so we're going to do something very special for our anniversary. And then Sunday she's got to work, but I have it off. I'll probably go to our land or something and do some more mowing. And then Monday we both have off again. And we're going to do something very special again. So we didn't get the whole weekend off, but hey, that's life. We got to work. We got bills to pay. <laughs> Despite what Google says I make. <laughs> I'm not as rich as some people think I am. Go ahead, go to Google right now and Google Trucker Josh net worth. That'll give you a good chuckle. <laughs> no, we gotta work, we got things to pay for. If that were true, man, I wouldn't be going to work. <laughs> <laughs>